Hey guys, and welcome to my new LP that you guys voted on. Yeah, this game going, uh, this game won by a couple of votes, so based on all the votes that I tallied up, Final Fantasy VI is going to be my next big project. Not that I'm complaining much, even though I'm doing Final Fantasy VII with my co-commentator. I'm not complaining much, because Final, Final Fantasy VI is not only my favorite Final Fantasy game ever, it's my favorite RPG, and it's in one of my top five games of all time, so... I'm not going to be complaining too much about this LP. Anyway, uh, this game was originally released for the Super Nintendo at Final Fantasy 3 in America. There was a story behind that. And then there was uh, also uh, Game Boy Game Boy release. There was Game Boy Advance or DS release, all kinds of stuff. And the PlayStation release. I'm doing the PlayStation 1 release as part of Final Fantasy Anthologies, which was Final Fantasy 5 and Final Fantasy 6 in one game. So anyway... This is Final Fantasy VI. I hope y'all enjoy it. I know it sure as hell I will. So let's get started. Yes, I'm doing the PlayStation 1 version. I actually own this game, so... So, uh, yeah, like I said, this is my favorite RPG ever and one of my top five games of all time. So, this is... Oh no, the war of the magic reduces the world to a scorched wasteland. And magic simply ceases to exist. Uh, that's not good. So no more magic in this world. Okay? Of the thousand years have passed. Iron, gunpowder, and steam engines have been rediscovered, and high technology reigns. So, no more magic, and now the technology completely is now overtook the world. Uh, that's just evolution. But there was those who were enslaving the world of rewriting the dread and the destructive power known as magic. So, there's people. Uh, re uh, enslaving the world by, by reviving magic. But who are these people? And of course, we probably know those are probably going to be some of the main villains in the game, so well, here we go. Can't be, can't be that those in power on the perch repeating the systems and deadly mistake. So apparently, magic's almost destroyed the world and enslaved the world before, and now there are people out to, uh, probably can enslave it. I mean, it's probably going to repeat the same mistake, so this can't be good. Mm. So we're on top of an icy mountain right now, so... And of course, that's one of our main... Uh, Alright, that's one of our main characters right now. Her name's Tara, but you won't find that out till later in the game. There's to tell. Hard to believe an expert has been found in Tacbear a thousand years after the War of the Magic. So apparently the last War of the Magic was a thousand years ago and they found an expert. What the heck's an expert? I guess we'll find out all before long. They can still live? Probably, judging from the urgency of our orders. Uh, so... We'll find that out. And we got this girl, too. And this woman. This sorceress. Why is she here? Good question. Well, I guess we'll find that out. I heard she fried 50 or a Magitek armored soldiers in under three minutes. So apparently she's very powerful. Okay. Not to worry. The slave crown on her head robs her of all conscious thoughts. She'll follow orders. Okay. So apparently she got a slave crown, though she... Like, it's basically hypnotized and will be... Well, approach from the east. Move out. So she's got a slave crown while she's basically under their control. So there's nothing we can do about it. Okay. And yes, Biggs and Wedge are a reference to... Star In case people don't know, y'all probably do know, that Biggs and Wedge is a reference to uh, Star Wars. Biggs and Wedge from the Star Wars series. And here we are crossing these plains to get to uh, uh, to where we need to go. Apparently we're finding this Esper, and there's all the credits at the beginning of the game. <laughs> Kenarita Kiyoshi Miyoshi, Kiyoshi Yoshi. <laughs> That's a funny name, Kiyoshi Yoshi. Tatsusa Takehachi. So the story behind it is that uh, it was called originally called Final Fantasy III in the United States. And it's Final Fantasy VI in Japan. In case people don't know, I'm pretty sure most of y'all know, uh, Final Fantasy fans, but for the select people that don't know, it's because when Final Fantasy I was released on the old school Nintendo, Final Fantasy I was, I was released over here. Then Final Fantasy II was never released over here until a lot later. Final Fantasy II's first release was for the PlayStation 1 on Final Fantasy Origins. But we, it was never actually released originally in the United States. Final Fantasy 3 wasn't either. Final Fantasy 3 first release was actually for the Nintendo DS. 
Then when Final Fantasy IV was released for the Super Nintendo, Final Fantasy IV was released in Japan. It was released over here, but we couldn't call it Final Fantasy IV because we had no Final Fantasy II or III. So they named it Final Fantasy II over here. Then Final Fantasy V was never released until the PlayStation 1 version on Anthology. Then when Final Fantasy VI was released, it was released as Final Fantasy III over here because it was actually the third Final Fantasy game released in the United States. That's why it's called Final Fantasy III over here, even though the game is actually Final Fantasy VI. Eventually, 2, 3, 5, and all of them got released, and the numbers got straightened out. But when Final Fantasy VII was released, and in, in Japan when it was released for Final Fantasy over here, instead of calling it Final Fantasy IV, they said, fuck it, we've already uh, messed up the numbers well enough, they called it Final Fantasy VII over here, and the rest is history. So, yeah, this is actually Final Fantasy VI, even though originally it was called Final Fantasy III. But anyway, now we're in this mining town. Let's... Let's put her on point. No six take, uh, six taking any risk. Forward! Okay. So we're letting the girl go take the uh, lead. Okay. So here we go, guys. And yes, I have control over her. So here we go. We're just going to... Imperial Magitech armor. Not even Narsh is safe anymore. So we're in the town of Marsh. And we get into our first battle! And there's going to be a little bit more loading time because of this PlayStation 1. And the girl is known as Question Mark. And we got Fire Beams, Ice Beams, Bolt Beams, and Heal Force for Wedge. So we're going to use a Bolt Beam. For her, we have the same thing. We'll use an Ice Beam on this guy. And for this guy, we have... Uh, for, the, uh, for the girl, we have a lot more stuff. We'll use uh, Confuser. Just for the hell of it. So the Ice Beam should take care of this guy. And there we go. Nothing to it. See, 32 experience points. Biggs gained the level. Wedge gained the level. It found 96 gold pieces. All right. So here we are. We are now on our way. So we're in, apparently in this town of Marsh. Narsh. Apparently that's where the Esper's found. Now we have... Narsh's freedom depends on us! And now we have some dogs to deal with. Doggies! Alright, we got Lobos here on this one now. We'll just use a Heal Force on her. We'll use Tech Missile. No, we'll use a Expert. And we'll use a Fire Beam. There we go. Easy enough. Uh, Expert. Not sure what that does. Oh, it, 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 uh, uh, it dispels an enemy automatically if you... Uh, if uh, you use it in battle, doesn't work on all enemies, of course, of course. So, 24 experience points, found a tonic, which is our healing potions, and 60 gold points. Yeah, potions in this game are called tonics. So, here we are. So, now, uh, so apparently, and now we have to worry about the guards now. So, we're getting two battles back to back, so that's the reason why I ahead and just use the, uh, it's the same little enemies that we just fought before. Nothing to worry about. And, of course, she has magic, too. She has fire. Apparently she knows how to use magic, so wonder why. Because remember magic was brought back. But we're going to use a quick bolt beam and call it a vid uh, call it this battle. Alright, so here we are. 32 experience points and 96 gold points. Gold pieces. Alright. So now with those two battles out of the way, we can move a little bit closer, a little further into Narsh. Basically just follow this path, there ain't nothing to it. Now we're gonna, we got him trapped now. So now we're gonna be into a pincer attack. Which, should be, uh, that means they're attacking from both sides. So here we are. But still nothing to it. <laughs> Alright, so. The only thing about the pincer attack is, is that, um. Uh, Let's use, uh, that, and then let's use a bio beam on this one, and it should heal up both the, uh, it should wipe out both the enemies, because it's, it's a, it's a, uh, multi-attack. So, there we go, and boom, easy enough. So, whoever this girl is, is very strong. We got, uh, Biggs gained a level, Wedge gained a level, Girl gained a level. And 126 gold pieces! Alright. 
So let's get going. Now we can move further into here, into the next area, where apparently that um, Esper is found out. Like I said, we're still trying to figure out what an Esper is. We can just squeeze through here. We must defend the mines! Now we got some new enemies here. Of course, with the typical guards, we got some new enemies here. We have Vol Vomanus. Which ain't nothing to it. We'll just do this. We'll use a heal force on the girl. And for the Magitek, we'll just do one quick bio blast, and that should take care of everything in one heal fell swoop. Yeah, the, uh, that uh, bio blast is completely uh, overpowered for this one game, so shouldn't be too bad. So just that one fell swoop should take care of all three of these enemies. There we have it. Easy enough. 65 experience points and 276 gold pieces. So we're just racking up some gold. Yeah, there's the reasons why this is my favorite Final Fantasy game, and it's because the storyline is incredible. The villain is like the best villain of all video games. And here we are. According to our source, the frozen Esper was found in a new mine shaft. Maybe this one. And in two, here we go. And just follow the path, easy enough. And what is this little sparkly thing we have here? An eerie glow surrounds you. Want info about save points? A, sleep, a save point lets you use a sleeping bag or tent and also save a game. If you should perish, you'll automatically be able to play from your last save. Any GP treasures, levels, or experience you'll found after the save point you'll have to be found will have to be found or earned again. What you had before saving will be retained. You can save a game anywhere on the world map. <coughs> So we can go ahead and just save real quick, just for time. So, let's do this. And my PS1 memory card is in slot 2, so we're going to just do a quick block. And yes, this is completely... I mean, I've played this game so many times, so I mean, I know how to do this really well, so... So let's carry on. There shouldn't be too much more to do in this, uh, mines. We got here. All right. I'll handle this. Stand back. So he's gonna break open this gate for us. So and ram charge. <laughs> Not to do it. So let. Oh, we won't hand over the Esper. So the Esper is here. Welk, get them. And here's our first boss of the game, which ain't much of a boss, but and I love the boss music. It's called the decisive battle. Hold it! Think back to our briefing. What about it? Do you recall hearing about a monster that eats lightning? And stores the energy in its shell? Right, so whatever you do, don't attack the shell. Alright already. So we don't attack the shell. So let's just attack the body then. I mean, attack the... Uh, So just basically attack the head and don't attack the shell whatsoever. It's gonna be easy to... It's not a hard battle at all. Let's just, uh... Oh yeah, don't use Bolt Beam either. <laughs> easy enough. Alright. Oh crap! We can't really do anything with it right now. It's going to hide in its shell when we can't, we can't attack the shell. So it's going to do counter-attack with Mega Volt. Let's try a heal force on the girl, if we can. Alright, so basically we have no girl. We have no healing potions. We don't have anything. So we've got to basically wait for the thing to come out of its shell. That was not very smart, Daniel. Now it doesn't continue attacking the body again. 
think he can attack the head with Bolt, but we're gonna try it. Bolt Beam! Yeah, okay. So basically, it's gonna attack, and we got no girl, so. Let's use a few beams and make sure it doesn't go back into its shell after this attack, because I don't know how many attacks it takes to go back into the shell. And it's going to try to do what? Fire beam again. Now it's going to go back into its shell, and then we just repeat the. Just wait. Hooray! Waiting games. I can't believe I stupidly did that and killed the girl. Alright. So, let's do this now. Fire Beam! Ice Beam! Does it continue attacking the head and eventually go down? It's not going to take very long. Ice Beam! Fire Beam! Really? That was idiotic. I think another one's about to die. I thought maybe it would take more hits than that. And then here comes the Mega Vault, and it's going to kill... Oh, it didn't. he didn't die, so... Heal Force! <laughs> can't believe he survived that. I still can't believe I killed the, uh, the girl died. And one hit of all things. Maybe her HP was a little bit lower than I thought. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna do that every time. Oh well. Fire beam. All right. 149. And it's gonna cast slime on us now, which I think slows us down. Yeah, it just slows us down. Ice beam. Still nothing to it though. Another slime. Just slowing us all down now. Bolt beam. We gotta make sure it doesn't uh Make sure it doesn't go. Uh... Make sure we don't attack the shell. So again, waiting game! This battle's taking a lot longer than I expected it to be for first boss. This boss, I, don't, I can't believe this boss is being so drawn out a lot more than I expected it to be. So, what can you do though? La 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 la. Yeah, sorry if that gets annoying. I just find it funny. <laughs> Ice Beam! And Bolt Beam! Alright. 142. Oh, there we go. Finally! I can't believe that took so long. It would have been a lot. It would have been a lot faster if we had girl. But what can you do? And we've got one potion, which is a stronger, a stronger healing item than the tonic. So, all right. So we got rid of Welk. So let's see. Now we just need to go up in here and let's find this Esper. Basically, go through. Okay. And now we can get in random battles. With still no girl. Can't believe that happened. Alright, so Bolt heals the Vaporite. Alright. Reaper Man should die in one hit, though. Alright. Let's use uh, Fire Beam then. Maybe we'll vaporize it? Yep. <laughs> vaporize the vaporite. <laughs> 24 experience points. Big gain the level. Wedge gain the level. And found 54 gold pieces. I cannot believe she died at the first boss. Alright, so let's go up these stairs. And here's the Esper. Alright, so this is the frozen Esper. Alright. So what we got here? All right. So apparently the Esper's being unfrozen, and 
We got an expert here called Tritok. Alright. Hey, what's the matter? Do you know something we don't? Alright, what? Uh, girl. Da, da, da. <sighs> the frozen creature began emitting an eerie light. Alright. And Biggs and Wedge was like, huh? What's going on? What's that light coming from? <laughs> hey! Wedge, where are you? What, 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 what's happening? And Biggs and Wedge were going and... <laughs> and the girl was trying to survive... Uh, girl was apparently surviving the attacks. Uh, okay. The girl gets exploded. So, the girl's dead too. Alright. Too bad. Oh, never mind. The girl's not dead. She apparently is woken up right here. And we have somebody looking out over for her. And let's see here. Oh, we got the girl right here. No, we're now in control of the girl. Where am I? Whoa! And only just removed the crown! Head hurts. And her head hurts. That's what you saw. Easy! This is a slave crown. The others had complete control over you while you were wearing it. Huh. I can't remember a thing. Don't worry, it'll come back to you. In time, that is. <sighs> and there's that slave crown, apparently. The girl's just like, I can't remember nothing! And we get to name the girl, and her name originally is... Tara. We're just gonna keep it Tara. We're just gonna keep it Tara. I want to keep it Terra. How come I can't stop? Uh, I want to keep it, keep it Terra. T E R R A. A. Why? Why is it not working? I'm pushing the start button and it's not working. There we go. Sorry about that. My name is Tara. Impressive. I've never heard of anyone recovering this fast. So we got our first party member, Tara. And here comes a couple of dogs. Apparently searching. Open up! Give us back the girl in the Empire's Magitek armor! This doesn't sound good. Okay. Open this door! We want that girl! She's an officer of the Empire! And the girl's like, uh. Empire? Magitek armor? Look, I gotta get you out of here. I don't have time to explain. Over here. But we're gonna end it here, guys. And when we come back, we're gonna follow this old man and, um. Try to escape from this empire. So, uh, yeah. Hold up. Make your way up through the mines. So I'll keep these brutes occupied. They're trying to find a safe one real quick. Safe point. She's up there! I want to just find a safe point real quick. Safe point. And we get into a battle with Terra. I'm just trying to find me a, a freaking safe point real quick. 
she can fight, but she's not very powerful. Her name is known for magic. So, wanna just cast some magic on her. And yeah, the Reaper Man throws wrenches when it's about to die. And 48 experience points, 54 gold points. Gold pieces. Why do I keep saying gold points? Alright. Oh, here's a safe point. Okay, guys. We're going to end it here. <laughs> when we come back, we're going to continue through these mines. I guess with Terra by herself. She starts at level 4. And try to escape this empire. From everything, so... Try to escape from this empire and see what we're going to do. Terra apparently remembers nothing because of that slave crown and everything, but we'll figure it out from there. So you have a good day. I'll see y'all next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. This is DKS3A, the Crazy Gamer, signing out.